Hi. Reese here. Here I am, standing in front of one of the witch's house. Now it's on the other side, we have a witch that's stirring in her cauldron. Let's take a look. So what is she got cooking besides as potions and that? Why this? Let's get into the witch house and we'll see what we can get ourselves into. Welcome inside. Here is Reese with three two tricks and magic. So glad I here to join us over here. This is gonna be an epic of a good one. And from the Dreamcatcher, I come to you. Hi, and enjoy the rest of the show. Now, here I am in the center where the magic is. So, what spell are we going to get into on our third video? We're going to get into our first one. And that goes to the magic incense holder stick magic trick is what this will look like. So here I hold is this incense stick holder, but there's no incense on it. Watch by magic, it appears. In the holder. How is this master trick done? As is about to reveal the secrets. As you're going to need to do this spell by name master trick. That's only the two things you'll see just here. Okay, so here is what you will need to get to perform with this. Pagan Witch Magic Trick. You will need one incense stick. Two. An incense stick holder. Made out of wood. With a nice design on it right there. And what you're going to do here is place the thin part right here of the incense stick. And place it into the whole part of the incense like this. Right there like that. This right here. When you look like this, it will pop like this. Being like elastic like. What you're going to do is have it down like this. That we can show that there is nothing there. Really it's just right there. But as you could go say I hear like this incense stick. But where's the incense incense stick? It's not there. But by magic you Release the attention of that, and by magic uh, appears in the ho holder is the incense stick. Now, in the holder, standing up, seen this here. If it's done, put that down like this, and then pre pre present. Is that that there? That uh, brings the, the the incense stick in there, let alone the incense stick holder. You can find uh, those anywhere in like around the candle section, basically, is where they'll probably have that. Um, 
and box or something like that. But um, that right there is how you do and perform that magic trick. Then you're going to now we're going to get down to our next spell trick number two, and that goes to the magic witch f f a fuser magic trick. So this will look like. Mm. What is this I see over here? Let's take a look at it. It is. What it appears to be is a witch incense fuser. Let's take a look at it first, shall we? It has a pentagram on it and something that is around it. Some kind of yarn of some sort. And here I got this nice crown looking mount. Put that into the center. Yes. Okay. And I got are these beads right here. And it actually is just something very, very magical. With your, what you're about to see, we're gonna hold this right here. I'm gonna wave my hands like this. Watch very, very closely what I'm about to do. Watch. You actually make it float. That. Whoa. How is it doing that? Well, looks like a witch had enchanted it. Very magical. How is this one done? As is about to reveal the secrets. And so you'll need to perform this piggy witch like magic trick. You will need is like beads right there in nice earth tone looking beads here. Then you will need is this candle like holder that looks like a witch crown right here. You're gonna put it down like this. This is the presenting pad for the next item, which is this witch fuser. It's an incense fuser bottle, and you can paint a star of choice onto it and tie some, like, purple or, like, rustic looking red onto it right here, as you see here. That would be great to put onto the witch thing here. You're going to is pick this up and wave over the, um, the pre presenting mount like this in a few circles and apply place it down in the center. You're gonna pick up the beads like this into your hand. You're gonna put your thumb into here like this, like that, and this is gonna cause it to like rise up like that. You're gonna hold like this. Lay the beads like this. And be very slow as it starts to levitate and rise up. Keep this in motion. Put it down very, very slowly, and then just hold on to the bottle and move your thumb out like this, just like so. Very pagan, which like is also uh, for Wicca as well too. Goes into um, somewhat of, en of enchanting, but as, as well as spell binding as well too. And that's how you perform the magic trick to the magic witch's fuser magic trick. Then we get down to our third magic trick on our third video on our 12th installment. Going for the Hallows March side and of the Pagan Witch and Wicca. Going on to... The witch, because of the title being our magical side of the Hallows Witchery to you with pagan witch tricks and excellent spellbinding magic tricks. Anyways, with that said, to our third we get to the magic 
symbol, card, tarot. Magic trick is what this will look like. So here I have are these symbol, symbol, tarot cards right there. I got this nice post bag here. Once we have to come in closer here, so we're gonna take a full look at what I have out. Okay, what I'm going to is move a few little things here, and I'm going to is see those uh, cards. I'll place this down here. And I'm going to is have these all these turned down. So remember here, one. I'll place this down here like this. Again. Take a look at each one. And that one there. And last, this right here. I'm going to is mix these up. And you're going to tell me when to stop. Tell me when to stop. So when you go stop. Stop. Okay. I'll put that there. I'm going to actually just square these up. I'll place this aside. What I'm going to is place this into this um, pouch like this. And I'll place it into this bag here like this. Face down. I'm going to write what I think it is in my ESP spell book. Well, I think it is with this. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put it into my my uh, my uh, book. Right here, I'm going to is do a little bit of spellbinding magic over here, and go into the book. Okay, I think the card that you've picked, I'm going to is by the spell book, is take a look. I think that's the spell. I think that's the card that you chose in. Spell book? Spell book. Saying that the card that you picked was the pentagram star. Let's take a look. Was that the card? Yeah. So that I got your card. What I what did the other cards are? I put this aside. Here, I'm going to is layer these out. Here, face down. Like this. And I'm going to is a guess the cards here by using a little bit of spellbinding magic. Okay. I'm guessing that over here, what rhymes with hex? X. And with that. Our next is square. Can you guess a square? Now, from the square, we get down to a next symbol. Here, I'm guessing, is the circle.
It'll be here now. I believe right here is the waves. Yes. So how is this master trick, trick, trick done? As is about to review the secrets. All you will need is um, a bronze sharpie. You will need is um, a, a spell book. I actually designed this spell book for this with a nice crest onto it. You'll need is a post bag with a star onto it. And you will need our symbol cards. Um, actually, I made these symbol cards for this. Here we got circle, wave, star, X, and square. What you're going to is have these out to sew first. Like this. Then you're going to is put them all together after sewing each one. Like this. You're going to have them face down. Like that. And then you're going to do is mix them. You're going to say, tell me when to say, st uh, uh, tell me when, or when, when to stop. They say stop. At about. Let's say they picked. This one. No, let's say they picked this one here. I place that into the center of the table. These now will just square it up and put aside. You'll do this one first. Take your spell book. You're going to need that. You put it up front. Get the post bag and you're gonna place this in. How did I get how did I get it? Well there's a, a picture of a cross right there, but they don't even see it because it goes it actually disguises within that card. So you place it in like this. Into the post bag like that. Place it up front. Go into this spell book right here. And you're going to do is with the marker. If they're uncapping it. And write down what it is. Make sure you write down the name and the symbol. Like this. Like that. And of course. Arrow down to so. Close the book up. I'll place that next to a black candle if you want to. It's entirely up, up to you. Cut the marker, and now you're good to go. Make your prediction. Waving your hands over, spell book to this. And you say, I'm going to now is use a little bit of spell by magic to guess the symbol tarot card. Like that. And you say, okay, now that I got that, you're going to say three times spell book, spell book, spell book. Give us a symbol. Give us a symbol. Give us a symbol. So say that like three times if you wanted to. Then you're going to say, I am guessing that the card that you chosen was it. The cross. So, the book, the, the book, the name, the arrow pointing at the cross. Put that aside. You're going to go in and take out this and say, you can say, what rhymes with hex cross. So that, and then so the book right after it. Right there. You're going to, next is Put that stuff aside and go to the deck that's now shuffled. Lay it out like this. You're going to guess the la the the four. Go like this with your fingers if you want to and say, I'm guessing over here is the star. Star. 
It too also has the sign of the star on it. You don't even see it. You repeat the same thing. Waves. Face down and then turn. Then square. Now, last but not least, the circle. Like that. Then guess the other four symbol cards after their card was predicted first. And as you do and perform the symbol card tarot magic trick, there goes into Pagan, uh, Wicca, as well for uh, those two. It goes into symbols and it goes into mentalism. That too is a mentalism magic trick going on the Pagan and Wicca side. And here now we get down to our fourth spot. Spellbinding magic trick. And that goes to a trick which I like to call my fourth one the magic incense gram trick. This is what this will look like. So here I have is this pentagram like star, tea light candle, and incense stick. If I just take this, watch. Here. Watch. The magic in. Very soon. It will give us smoke. A few waves. See, it's starting. A few more passes with the hand. And look. It starts. To give us the smoke. More passes? More. There we go. How is this trick done? As is about to reveal the secrets. All you'll need is. An incense stick, some tea light candles, you'll need two, and a star, I think, with a nice design on it to it. You'll need a lighter. What I want to do is put this in here, closest to the flame. Like this. Come on. Like that. And you're going to do is, put your hand and forth, and we'll do a few passes. Twist it down like this because the heat will heat it up. So you go to the tip of the incense stick. And it'll catch a flame 
blow it out like that. I think I get this. Stop like that. Just like that. And that's how you do and perform that trick. So it goes into incense, candle like thing, as well as the star pentagram like candle like thing. You see just here. And that there, so you do and perform the trick to the magic incense gram trick. Gram for pentagram or star, whatever like that. So that's when we get to, to our fifth one right to you. From the witchery. And of the craft mass. There's a seven here. There'll be smoke showing a little bit of that too, let alone some other as well too. Here now we get down to our fifth one, which I like to call the Deathly Hollows Wand Symbol Trick. Is what this will look like. So here I got is this uh, sign of the uh, hallows here, and I got is this um, wand, but it's not going the right way. Watch this. So this with my head over this. Watch the wand on here. Be very closely, Pay close attention. Whoa, now the wand is where it should be now. Before it was um, lying straight, now it goes right where it should be on the symbol. How is this trick done? I'll show you. Okay, so the trick is this. It's actually a trick wand that I made. Like this, wire there, wand, I actually made which like wand, and the symbol is also carefully made and constructed. All in the same, in the same, same color down the earth and very dark cultic like. And of the hollows right here, it'll place this into the circle like this. Like that. You're going to twist this this way like this. Now you can see that it's in the in the wrong position to be to create the symbol of the, the Daphne Hollows, also known as the symbol of the Hollows. This one here goes into Pagan and and Wicca and and Witch as well too. You're going to just wave your fingers over like this and spellbind like that, and then then you're going to is use this and it'll move the one like this. That way it goes now into the right position, going straight up and down like this to, com to complete this symbol. The one now is here, the circle right there and there. Now here is the, the, the symbol of the Deathly Hallows, also known as the Hallows symbol. And as they perform the trick to it. And then there that drops us down to our next trick. Our sixth one, and that goes to the Witching Spell Candle Trick. That's what this will look like. I was gonna say, sp um, spell witch like. Here's the performance of what this will, will all right, look like. So here I have it here, is this candle right here, well actually is maybe enchantment first. I see a few words, spell candle, spell candle, give us the magic. Spell candle, spell candle, give us the magic. Let the spirit come. Whoa. How is this trick done? I'll show you. All you will need is this candle. This is actually an LED candle. And the inside is Tuckum Potter and Cinnamon. 
There's a hose right there hanging into it. Then you, you'll need is this bone like necklace and a pentagram star and something nice and green down below. That way it looks very nice and witchy, dark Celtic and pagan. And uh, then you'll need is this, or actually, is part of this to come out like that. You can hide this behind here. Make sure. Like that, make sure it's all into where the hose is right there. That way, it's so easy. This is hidden from view. No one sees that. Because the things here, I'll show you. Your talcum powder and your cinnamon from your kitchen. Two powders. You're going to say the words spell candle, spell candle. Give us the magic. And then just like this. Spell candle, spell candle, give us the magic. And bring in the spirit in. And then you go like this a little, little bit more as you say, bring in the spirit in. And then it will come out like a misty like spirit cloud from the witch spell candle. That too is very uh, pagan like. Um, Wicked like as well as on the witch as well too. And that's how you perform that trick. Down to our next one we get to. We're gonna get down to our next one that goes into um spell cast. Um spellbinding and enchanting of what? An owl statue by candle. And to our seventh one, which I like to call the magic which is Owl Statue Magic Trick is what this will look like. This is a statue of an owl. I enchant thee. Again, I enchant thee. How is this spell binding magic trick? Goes into enchantment as well as magic hell. All you'll need is a candle, a lighter to light the candle. To some ambience as well too. Next thing you will need is an owl statue. This is not a, a real owl statue. It actually is a sound uh, one as well too. Here's the console for the batteries. Right here. Right here is the motion sensor. So it's motion censored. So when you pass the candle here like this i will pick it up and that's what's making it to hoot. So you can show the SDS statue, but you'll want to do is st uh, stand very still over here away from the motion sensor, which is just right there. So soon we're gonna turn it on. Chantry. Pass over. Stop. I am Santai. And that's what you do. The magic trick too, the magic, which is owl statue, magic trick. So is it the owl because owls the great with pagan, wi uh, Wicca and witch as well too. That's why I brought that in 
in this one. No, there, there, there's how you do and perform that magic trick. Now, bring us down to our next one. We get to to our eighth one. So here it goes into a symbol, flame, and having it to do something very epic with this. And that goes to the magic mark burn symbol magic trick. Is what this will look like. So here at home is my candle and the symbol on the paper. It is a star. Watch. Okay. Since so though that is is now burned up, watch this. Very, very carefully, I hold it over and watch. It ends up onto my arm, and I just burned up that symbol. So, how did I get the symbol to burn from that paper and end up on my arm? Seen here, as is about to re reveal the secrets behind this too right now. So here goes into your makeup, uh, black candle. So the makeup is here by um, these uh, 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 makeup crayons. Candle, of course, a lighter for flame. You will need is this uh, cauldron light pot. You're gonna put um, it into here. That we're gonna put it in. Boop, like that. What you're going to is put the star onto your arm first for those. And then you're going to is um, take this tissue paper here and you're going to is um, make yourself is that. Make sure you go for a nice color. Here I'm using is this green one here that we'll use for it. Come on close and now I'll show you. Okay, so here you're going to is draw that pentagram star or star or whatever, uh, whatever symbol you choose. But it must be a symbol that is sewn onto your arm right here. So here I'm using, I'm using that. So we're going to is put that in like this. Like that. That way you can easily see it. One of the colors that they can easily see. So like that. So I'm just gonna do a quick, a quick start here. Now let's put this down there. So it's it's like this. Like that. You're going to is. Get the pot to act ready. And you're gonna hold on to the candle, holding on to the paper. You're gonna give this a, a light. Make sure the wick stands up. Like that. Then you're gonna go over here, sew this, the star symbol, and then you're gonna give it a light like this. Hold it over. And then drop it like that. So uh, the candle, or leave the candle. You can see it's kind of embering inside here, a little bit. It'll go, go, go up very quickly. After it is done, hold your arm over, and then with your hand, like this. You can see once was burned, and now it appears onto my arm. Seen now, just right here. The sign of the star. And that way, does you do and perform that magic trick. Bring us down to it. Next one, we get to 
to our ninth one. And that goes to the Magic Horror Crux Prediction Magic Trick. Is what this looks like. So what is this to see over here? But we have some various items right here. These are what appears to be as horror cruxes. Let me see what we have here. We got uh, a spell book diary. We have a ring. We got is a locket. We got um, a snake staff wand. And here we got this nice, interesting looking um, cup like goblet of some sort. And with me, I have is this uh, star pulse bag. So I'm going to is predict, predict this in a very unique way. So I'm going to is have you to put in the items in first in this bag. And I will use a little bit of spellbinding magic to guess all of them. So here is them all over the just be here. So if you want if you want to is put me into the bag for me, I'll be away. And I'm just right here. Okay. Are your are the items into that pouch. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go back and let me use a little bit of magic. Magical over it. And try and guess those horcruxes that you've seen as a very unique prediction. Okay, so here I come over here and I'm going to is take a feel in the bag here right here I'm go going to is I'm going to go into the bag here and I'm going to is a feel okay you know each one I do not know what it actually is I'm gonna actually is a is guess what's inside here with my hands inside here and I'll see if we can use a little bit of spellbody magic. Spellbody magic comes to the Okay, here's this region. I'm not going to is look, I'm going to feel. I believe what I feel is the Horcrux ring. Am I, am I, am I correct? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out. Yes. Oh wait. I'll put that on. Okay. Next, I'll just reach in. And I'm going to feel, believe that this right here. Now I'm feeling, is the snake staff wand. Reach in again. Believe that the, uh, my senses, I'm sensing, uh, hold is the um, a locket. And there now, reach in. I believe that I'm getting a feeling on the next one is the spell book. Now, last but not least, I'm not going to even look for the last one. You can use a little bit of magic over it. The Horcrux of the goblet.
How is this magic trick done? I'll show you. So it goes into mentalism in a unique way. It goes into your senses, the feel of each item. Have all these out. Spellbook, I've gathered. Um, goblet of some sort there. The locket I had to make. Because I didn't have a locket. Um, the snake staff. And of course, the ring. Right there. And of course, the bag that has two stars on back and front of it. What you're going to is... Turn away as they place all the items into the pouch bag like this. Like that. Now put them all of it in. And say, make sure that you leave it open. You know, you're going to is they say, okay, I am ready now. Okay, so you're going to come over, make your way over after. And say, I'm going to now, is going to reach into the bag, but I'm not going to look. Reach in. And say, I'm going to feel what each one is. And I'm going to is guess the feeling of what it is. So here, I believe, is the, the snake staff wand. Place out front after guessing it. Use it again. And say, I'm going to is another feel. I'm going to is reach in. And I'm going to pull out what I think is the locket. Right here. I feel again. I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to is going to think that my senses are saying that I am holding is the Horcrux goblet. Going again. And you're going to do the same thing and say, I'm guessing the senses now are saying that now I have is the Magic Spellbook Diary. Right there, put it up front, standing up. You turn again, but you're going to is reach in, but not take that out immediately. Why? You'll want to guess. The last one. Say, the last one here I'm getting is the Horcrux ring. Reach in, pull out the Horcrux ring right there. Place it on like this if we want to. And go like this. It's very witchy. Um, Horcru Horcruxes are like hexed items. So it goes into hex as well, too. And goes into items of the witchery as well too. And that's what you do and perform that master trick. This is a unique mentalism among all the other mentalisms that I've done here on the trick videos. So here it goes into the pagan, the witch, and the wicca for this one. And that's the sixth secret behind the Magic Horcrux Prediction Magic Trick. Bring us down to our next one when we get to to our tenth one, and that goes to the Dark Celtic Witch Vase Magic Magical Trick. That's what this will look like. So here I hold is this Celtic looking witch vase. I'm gonna actually is to take this. Watch what I could do with this. Are you ready? Watch. And by magic, I get a little bit of flowers in the vase. Witchy purple flowers. How is this master trick done? I'll show you. All you only is jumping, leaping flowers. 
I just had to. It's another trick. So I'll play this. Okay, do it like that. To catch it like that, if you want to. So all you'll need is this vase here. I actually made this vase to the right origin of a, a dark Celtic witch. Right there. All nice and painted as well too. Then you'll need is a bouquet here I'm using. It's this witchy like purple flowers. Fake. You don't want to do this to every all. You know, bounce it up like that. Make sure these are not to be exposed. Hold the vase like this. Just connect it to your forearm. So the vase and so completely empty. Like this, well, like this. Put this in like this and go like this. Hand like that. Brush this down. And that's going to, by magic, put flowers to appear in the vase. And I believe that there is like a witch like spewed over here that's uh, trying to move it down on me there. <laughs> so right here. It's a, it's a, it makes a, gr a great magic trick that you could do because it goes into witch like witch like like flowers and a Celtic, dark Celtic witch phase. Then from 10, we get down to our next one. And that goes to the magic one paper feather magic trick. Is what this will look like. So here I hold is some paper here. And here I got is um, one feather. You see, this right here. And I got this thing here. Gonna actually is to place this in to this paper thing. You can see, get them completely empty. Also, it's completely empty. Like that. I'll place it one feather in. Like this. And watch. One feather. Can take a look down. One feather. A second, second feather. Followed by a whole bunch more. The magic, it multiplies by the use of this ash paper. So how did I get the feathers to multiply? I'll show you. All you'll need is more than one feather. These are fake from your craft store. What you're going to do is take one out like that. And you're going to is use this black wrapping paper, uh, tissue paper, which I like to call ass paper. You're going to put it in, you're going to unfold it like this, like that. You're going to put places in like this. And you're going to fold it in like this. Like that. And you're going to fold this over. All that's to be seen is one feather out. Put it in there, take it out, and so on. You'll put a place in here like this. And then you're going to is just reach in and pull out. One at a time, or a bunch, like this. So from one. Multiplies by more feathers by the ash paper. This is what you'll see just right here. So only one, two things that you'll need to perform this magic trick. And there it persists on to our next um, trick to our 12th one, which I like to call 
the magic two spell candles trick. Here's what this will look like. So here it goes into spell binding as well too as in as enchanting as well too. So here I have our two spell candles. One here, one here, and it got is this bone right here. I'm gonna actually is to take this. What else we do with this? Go over. Watch. One. And. Enchant the other one. How is this uh, tr tr trick done? I will show you. All you will need is uh, um, their remote control candles. We've got one here. You're going to turn these on as well, too. And then you'll need is a bone here for the ma magic wand. You're going to is make sure you have these turned off like that. You're going to have this palmed into your hand like this while holding on to the bone like this. This will direct the other thing in here as a wave over like this. Oh, so you have it up like that. So only one lights up. One or two. Like that. Or like that. This now can get it ditched into your pocket. You can have the flicker or do it like that. And as you perform the um, trick to the uh, witches, the two witches spell candles trick. There it gets the bone, and then the two candles involved with this one. So what's our next one? We gonna get into, but to our next magic trick to our 13th one was I like to call the tall witch ca candle trick is what this will look like so here I have this is tall black witch candle and here I got is this holder Gonna actually is take the candle and pass it around the, ho the holder like this. Spell binding. Spell cast. Spell binding. Craft mass. Like that. Watch. Keep your one. Not that. Watch this. How that to float as well too. How was this tr 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 trick done? I'll show you. All you'll need is a black tall candle and um, a candle holder. You want to do two things at once. You want to do is take a, take a tall candle that's a light and and then gyrate over the candle holder. Place it in. Pinky goes under. And go like this. Hold there. Like this goes three to one. And make it to float. Make that to float under again. This is gonna actually get one finger and with his thumb. Pull this up and pull out like this. And make that float. Now place back into the holder just like this. With it all alight. Like that. And that's how you do the witch's tall black candle.
trick. Makes a great spellbinding magic trick. And there it brings in the candles within this as well as the holders as well too within this one. Very spellbinding and very magical-like. And as we carry along, things are going to get more epic. So I want to let you know. Anyways, here is our next one we get to. From 13, we get to our 14th one. And that goes to the Magic Witch Scent Vase Magic Trick. Is what this will look like. So here I have is this nice vase here. Very dark and colorful like. I got this paper here that I'll just take out of here. And all to be seen is only one incense stick. Right here. And I just place this right here. I'll just pl place the paper in to here. Watch. Now we got more incense sticks in the vase. How is this master trick done? As he is about to reveal the secrets. All you'll need is what you'll see here. Incense sticks. You see here. So a good Going for a crack mass, whatever like that. You'll need to ask paper, paper again. And um, here is this nice dark Celtic looking flower vase that we will use for the, the incense. What you're going to do is is take one incense stick out and keep that out. This now will go into the vase like that. The paper. Will go in like this, hiding the incense in the back. Seen sweet there. One incense stick now goes in front and is to be seen like this. What going to do is to remove that one in incense stick out, place it down onto the table, then you're going to pick up the lot the paper like this. Make sure it is not to be exposed. You'll place that one incense stick into the vase as you see me doing. Then you're going to put this in like this. Like that. Paper over and go like this. And by magic it multiplies in uh, Celtic, dark Celtic looking green vase. You can see now all of the incense sticks have multiplied in the inside of it. Seems to see here. Here it's done. Place these up front. Put the paper. Now place it into the vase. Just like this, as you see me doing. That way, it looks like. Um, Almost kind of like um, a, a like a gift or or something like that. So, and then that's how you do and perform this magic trick. There it gets the incense involved, the paper, and the vase. Only three things that you'll need to perform this magic trick. It's um a. a, a very good one you could do for um, Pagan as well as for Wicca as well too. For just that one. Besides as a little bit on the witch a little bit. But more focusing on the um, Pagan and Wicca with that one as well too. 
We even got some relation to them as well as the witch as well too. Okay, and with that said, we'll get on to our next one we got too. From from 14, we get to our 15th one. That's there, what I like to call the magic. The magic dark Celtic witch orb. Magic trick. So here goes to the witch for this one. So what's this I see but a witch orb? A dark Celtic one. And here I got is this nice black scarf. I'll place this, this into the center. Let's see here. I just got this right here. That I hold right here. I'm gonna actually do something very magical with this. First up, let me just spell cast and then chat. Okay, I'm going to use this now. Watch what we could actually do with this. Are you ready? Here. Watch. I'm going to get to disappear. And. What is this to see? But it's rising up. Onto the scarf. Where did it go? It vanished. How is this magic trick tr done? I'll show you. All you'll need is this dark, very dark, Celtic looking or ball for a witch. It has, this is a ball that has um, a hole just right there. You will need is an interesting looking kind of holder right here. And you'll need is a black face cloth. What you're going to is sew the orb like this. Pick it up and sew. Place this now. I'll place it here so you can see what I, I, I was doing. After enchanting it like this, what you're going to is with your thumb, reach in like this. Like that. This is gonna happen when it's like this though. So get the scarf. Go over like this. Like that. And like this. It makes it completely vanish. Here now, this rise above like this. Like that. This rise above. Like that, and it just rests upon here. You can also go like this if you want to. And the thing you're going to do is make a vanish. If I go like this, holding it back, and making it to vanish. This is right back here. Go under like this, and go like this. And to make it reappear. Do that's done. Reach out, hold, and place back onto the mount seen just here. On the center of the table. Down to our 16th one we get to. And that goes to the Magic Old Witch Spellbook. Trick. That's what this will look like. Say you don't mind if I can borrow your spellbook for a bit. Sure. That'd be great. Thank you. Let's see, let's see. This is her spell book. Be very careful with it. Let's take a look at it first. Why does it read? It says the old the old book of spells. And on the back, it reads, Magic. As you can see, just right here. Let me open this up. Just a bit here. Oh wait, 
I can't turn pages like that. No way. See what I could do about that. Watch. It actually is when my thing is over. Watch. I'll move pages with just a wave of my hand. Ah. Right there. There we go. There's a spell that I can say right now. I mean, I'm in. I'm in. How is this trick done? I'll show you. This is what you're going to need to perform with this spell book, spell binding trick. If you have an old book that you're not using, you can paint it up to make it look very old. I actually um, kind of the bit of paint on the um, book like that. Making it nice and old. If you want to, you can put a label on, uh, um, word on it here. I suppose is the the old book uh, book of spells and on the back. I did uh, a picture of a pyramid like star, basically with the eye and some like spikes coming out of that. That like, for like magic and the word magic right there onto it. Dolly puts magic within the book. So how do I get the pages to, to, to do that? You open up a few pages like this. You're gonna put your thumb in like this and tilt the book down a bit. But you wanna get your hand involved like this. So as you lift up with your thumb back here, as you move your hand like this, like that, you wanna be Fairly can't like be very slow at like this. Give it a uh, tilt down a bit as you like this. Get a few pages to move like this, and at the end of it, point your finger down like this. Say ha! Now I've found a spell that I like to read to make it, and make up a word like say, and on the sealum alus or something like that. It doesn't have to make any sense, but it goes well with the old Book of Spells trick. If you want to, snap your fingers and have it to go like that. Thumb. Just like that. By snapping out of your fingers, closes this old spell book. Very magical like. And that's the secret behind the witch's old spellbook trick. To our seventeenth one we get to. And that goes to the magic pagan witch bead lace. Trick is what this will look like. And here I hold, I, I wear is the the bead lace around my neck. Here, one second. We're here. First up, I'm going to is feel the beads like this. All right, like that. And I'll feel these beads too. Like that. I'm gonna hold this right here. What I'm going to is have it to have a spirit to move it. Have it to move, being controlled by a spirit. How is this tr tr trick done? I'll show you. All you'll need is this bead lace. It's pagan like and it's Wiccan like as well, too. It is tied to here. 
and it has a nice fray um broom look to it right here at the end of that too that is tied down to here you're going to is wear this around your neck first like that before pulling off the magic uh, the uh, trick you're going to is hands out so put up like this like this and you're going to is first feel the beads it's almost like a rosary but different like this and then coil it up down like this and then you're going to is feel the beads again on the opposite side like this and you're going to hold it like this and you want it as actually as, as you put it in you're going to actually flip it out like this and you can say about a spirit controlling it because we can go like this like this, be very quick like that. Hold like this, can say, and full control spirit. Like that, bring your hand a little bit, and kind of move it a little bit like this. And that's what's going to cause it to move, as if a spirit had full control over the pagan witch bead lace right here. You guys done? Like that. So, unwrap it. And then put it around your neck like this at the presenting. Just like that. Now, I right, love something nice. Of what I'm wearing on for this video. To our 18th one, we get to. And that goes to the Magic Witch Cup Penta. Skull. Master trick. That's what this would look like. Here with me on the side here is this. I'll put this board down. You can see I have is this skull right here. That I have gonna actually is take that skull like this into my hand right there. Well actually is get it to completely vanish. Watch this. Put my hand like that. Skull's right there. Watch. I enchant thee. I make it to, to completely vanish. Here with me, I got is this cup. This witch like cup right here. Very dark color like full of the 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 wits right there. You can see there's nothing inside here. I got the board. I'm going to actually is to do that magic with. Okay, I'm going to actually is to go like this. Hold this down. I'll get that board. Right here. Watch. Like this. By magic. It appears. Now that looks like the spirit of, of, of the skull had made it to fall off. And now it's seen to be moving by itself. How is this one done? I will show you. All you'll need is a small skull. Actually, repainted the skull. Uh, you'll need is a board with a star and some some numbers onto it. Um, bronze and um. Silver. Then you'll need is this cup. Actually, um, repainted this cup. I get some lace under it right there. You're going to is is sew the components out and place these down. You're going to is make the skull to vanish. Going like this. Figure like this. Place this into your pocket like this. 
a uh, slant like this. Very uh, quickly like this. Pass it like this. And coil it like that. You're going to make it vanish like this. Like that. Then we'll come into the cup. So completely empty. What you're going to do is, as you go get that board, is take the, uh, the uh, skull out here. And you're going to put it like this. And the cup is turned like this. Like that. Go get the board. Like this. And hold it right to you like this. Place this down like this. And go like this. Circle around like this. Fourth. And go like this. Be very careful. To have it to appear like that. If it falls off, that's okay too. You'll just be more um, spirit-like. Get see here. Make sure it's actually like sit down like that. Also, rock it a little bit like that to add a little bit of like a now is one with the spirit and is moving by itself as it greets onto the pentagram like that. And that right there is so how you do and perform that magic trick. Bring us down to our next, next one we get to. To our 19th one. The trick there was I like to call the Magic Eerie, which is Box Cube. Trick. Here's like this. Oh, the hags. It goes into in, um, enchantment. Um, sp bell, bell binding and goes into the area side of the Hallows Witch. We'll do that right next to the witch they introduce me. But first, see, here is the box cube. Look how old it is as we came from a witch house. Now it's that, you'll see what kind of magic that, that it may possess. But I did say I was going to be from the, that witch there. But it looks like something said that I didn't need to. Why? Because said you have that ability but anyways with that we'll actually is get this to enchant enchantra whoa mark my hallow's words I said enchantra no enchantra I said a spell and look definitely from the hollows looks very very eerie let's stop it all wow and I just said an enchanted word there very magical and all of a sudden boom I had enchanted this I didn't need to go to that which after all so how was this trick done I'll show you for this trick you will need only one thing and that's what you'll see just right here this here is one of the newest one in and I put it into this one so what is it you can see is a box cube and has its the designs of a cat and spider's webs and pumpkins all onto here. So it's a box and a cube. It has an LED in the end so you can kind of see it just right there. The mount right here you can see it has like skulls here. So it looks very witchy like. Here 
is also battery operated. Here is the work of the try me button. Like that, so you hit the you try, do you try me button. Like that too. You're going to just hold this like this. And you're going to say um, to the words like this, you're going to say um, Enchantra. Wave your hand over. Enchantra. Like that. And in and in and enchant the cube box of the witch. It lights up every highest green, and it highlights the pumpkin, the spellweb, and the cat. You can say, I guess go wave the hand, and end this cycle. Just like that. You're just holding it like that in your fingers as you wave like this. Like that too. So it's um very easy. It's very it's, it's actually like um very self working. There's no prep required for that trick. And again, this one was one of the newest ones that I brought in for our summon twelve on our third video going for the um in installment. Well, I'm impressed with that one, Reese. That was well done. I enjoyed that one. All with the Hallows. Wow, though that was completely epic. Well, anyways, he still has more. <laughs> that impressed me as well, too. <sighs> that was definitely something. Hmm. Wow. I'm completely stunned and surprised with that one. Let alone others as well, too. I wonder why, how many more he has. But this much I know. There's still more epic ones coming up. He is right. We still got more epic tricks coming up as well, too. And they're going to get you more epic as we carry down. Anyways, that right there is how you do and perform the Eerie Witch's Box Cube trick. Bring us down to our next one we get to. From 19, we hit to our 20th one. And that goes to the Magic Apple Cauldron. Magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So here I got is this the cauldron here? Can see to took a look. That I got nothing inside there. I'm gonna actually is going to place this onto that that that, that table. Here, I'm going to just place this on onto the, the uh, table right there. So the cauldron here is on that table. All I have is only one apple, one red ju 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 juicy apple here, and I got is another one, two. What I could do with that? That cauldron's up there. Was one. Two, three, four, five, and six. Completely, they vanish. Welcome into the cauldron. Let's reach in and look. They appear coming from the cauldron. How was this one done? As is about to reveal the secrets. All you'll need is what you'll see 
just over here. For this magic trick, you will need our red juicy apples or fake ones. These are actually the fake ones that I've made out of um, red balloon with um, a stick in the inside. All you'll need are two, four, now four. You need two out and two palmed. These are here will get palmed into your hand like this. You hold on to is the um, cauldron bucket here, like this. So completely empty. What you're going to do is put these in like this. Be very, be be very, be, be very quick about it. You're gonna place that right onto the table. Make sure you don't get to see, uh, see this. Take the other two apples, and so the two you're going to is so two, one, two, three, four. Everybody gets the idea. Five and six. We can actually just drop these like this, Hold like that. I'm gonna say watch three, two, one, and I'm going to completely vanish. I'll come into the cauldron. Move your, your fingers over if you want to. Reach in and pull out one juicy apple. Like that. I place it like that. Like that. You can use real apples or fake ones if you want to. And that right there is you do and perform the magic witches apple cauldron magic trick. Then down to our twenty first one, and that goes to the magic holder of threes magic trick. Well, ho holders eerie witch like candle holders. Here's the performance of what this will look like. We will do that. It's right at the trick table. So here I got our three very eerie, scary candle holders. I got like blood dripping out of it, basically. And you can see if I, if I can if I can maybe move this one over here. Watch. Oh, did you just see it? I just moved this. But wait, if I could actually move this, watch. That moves. Again. How is this trick done? I'll show you. All you'll need are only for some things to create this. Which you like. Magic trick. So what you will need is black thread. That way in the shade, it cancels out like this. You can see it there. And you don't even see it from over here too. But a black surface like this with a nice design onto it. That way it hides. What you're going to do is get one. Um, of these candles here for furthest down and you're going to is get the get thread and wrap it like around here top and the other one and you're gonna place that under like this so, and you're going to go like that. You can see it's like it's like it's like a, a teeter totter. It it moves this one right there, but you want to put the third candle holder like this after you're going to go like this, and then placing it in like this. Be careful not to move that like that. That way, you see it's the three holders. One, two, three. And you can say if I move. 
One, if I move this one here with your hands, this will go forward. Move this one here, and that will come to greeting to the um, middle candle holder. You can also use the middle holder and pull like this. Move one. And then go over there. Like that. It's a very cool um, magic trick. It involves the eerie witch like candle holders. Can also pick one up. If you wanted to, pick up the other one. And control the other one. Makes it a very excellent magic trick. And let's see you do and perform that one. All right, down to our next one we get to. To our 22nd one that goes to an essential of witches, pagans, and Wiccans. Now goes into a, a crystal ball. To our 22nd one, one which I like to call the magical crystal ball trick. That's what this will look like. So here I got, is this a crystal ball? Well, actually is something very magical with this watch. From the witches. What is this? I see. Okay, able to move it. Wow. How is this one done? I'll show you. So here it goes into the well known crystal ball. Here's how to perform this trick. To perform this trick, you all need is only one thing, and that's this crystal ball. A real one. I got you there. <laughs> it's actually an LED one here. You put this over here like this. It lights up. This is actually like a blue strobe right here. But it's very soft light, because what this is on here is um, a, actually a light ball. Covering, which is what this is right here. The amount right there is painted right there, and it looks like, like a real crystal ball. Can you can hold? It makes it be great on for a, tab a, a tabletop. You can get your finger at the ready right here. Can say any word, incantation. I'm a witch, yeah. like that. You can also spin hand there and have the light the jump on your hand like this. As you break that, and then chant the crystal ball, and it brings out light to move it. All you gotta do is go like this onto the uh, table hand, like that, to like create a little bit more magic to go with it. And then that's what you do the witch's magical or crystal ball trick. There it gets the well known crystal ball with this one. This one's gonna be a little bit more epic and eye catching. Goes into a skull. And that goes to our 23rd one, which I like to call the Seontic Pagan Skull. Magic trick. So here I hold 
is a skull. Right here. Look for like that. Bring us to magic. Bring us to magic. I take this candle. Watch. Magic. From the skull. Magic from the Seantic Skull. How is this one done? As is about to reveal the secrets. All you'll need is not a real skull. Actually, I painted it really good to make it look very real, but it's not. All you'll we'll need is a candle. A well lit candle with a nice. Looking pagan like tie on to it right here. This skull here has a tray. Right there. Now you're going to is put your rubbing alcohol into it. I have it right here. So this right here. Put it into the tray a little bit. Goes a long way. You're going to is go like this, hold out, and go. Big ass to magic, big ass to magic. I keep this in circular motion. Bring us to magic, bring us to magic. Go to the candle that that's a light, and go like this. And it brings forth the magic like that. Head over. I'm gonna go like this. Like that. And then force the glow to distinguish all the flames. Let's read the uh, skull in the, in the light. You can see, this is all hand painted that I put into it for this uh, video for our summit 12. The plate right there. And it looks like that. So you pull up the, that magic trick. You'll first go like this. One hand or two. Usually it's just, just one hand like this. Like that. Make sure you don't do it like overly um, too hard there. Or you'll get um, the um, alcohol to leak out like that. It actually is a, like a, like almost like a, a real um, pagan and Wicca magic trick, and it goes into um, a seance, basically like a uh, seantic magic trick. That's why the word um, I chose for it because it, it sounds very magical like, and it goes to. The Mazatruk, right here, which is called the Seantic Pagan Skull Mazatruk. And as they perform this Mazatruk, but be careful, you're working with flame in this one. To our next one, we get to on our third video going for our 12th installment. And that goes to. Our twenty fourth one, which I like to call the in the witch's enchanted teapot magic trick. That's what this will look like. So here with me, I have all these cups right here. I got this um, teapot right here. I'll put these dark Celtic leaves in 
to each cup. So last cup right here. I got two of these. I'll put one into here. I want into here. Okay, I'm going to is first things first is give this a stir. Like that. Get a stir with this. Like that. Well, actually, it is isn't very magical with you with this enchanter, 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 me, enchanter, Okay, watch this. If I if if I take this cup. Like that. It gives me this. I pick up pick up the other cup. Now. And it gives me green. How is this master trick done? As is about to reveal the secrets. Is what you're going to need to perform this magic trick. It's almost like the enchanted teapot, but this is completely different, following the same, but more different. I'm here to show you how this was done and performed. For some, you will need our um, your Lee's fake Mario, called it looking Lee's. That's what you'll see right there. Next, you will need are these food coloring. You will need is um, green and a different color, like like a cherry kind of pink. So kind of like tea base, basically. Then you will need is. What you'll see here in this cup, a Celtic looking spoon for stirring. And then secondly, you will need are these goblets right here. Now these I actually painted and made for this one as well too. What you're going to do is place one of these into one. Like this. That one's done. And then the other one you'll do exactly the same as I've as I've shown. Like this. Get the green. And now couple here. And like this. Like that. Now you're good and set and ready. Except you all need is the kettle. I'll show, I'll show you the kettle right now. The kettle is just right over, over there. This is, isn't gonna grab right now. Right here. Now this right here has leaves onto it. Nice, just that thing on here. And here is just uh, plain water in the inside. That's all that is. First things to, first things first, is gonna take that mixing spoon, like this, and stir up this. So you can see, it's just water. That's all that is, water in the inside of that. And go like this, mix it up like that. And say incantations like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enchantra. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enchantra. Knock off the dips like that. And tilt this down a bit like this. And it's a rock like this. Like. 
but it could take this. Like that, as if you're, you're closing the lid by magic. Then, after that, you're going to is put the leaves into the two cups. That. Place one leaf in. Two one cup. There. And then place the other one into it like this. So leaves go, uh, will go in. You can hold like this if you want to. Or onto the uh, table. Then say like this and watch. One turns to green. And the other turns into a different color. Like that. And as you do, the magic witches enchanted teapot magic trick. Here goes out to our next one, one we get to. From 24, we get down to our 25th one, which I like to call the All Hallows Jackal Magic Trick. Here's what this will look like. So here is a pretty unique one. So here I got this uh, All Hallows Jackal here. But they're gonna actually is uh, like this on back onto the uh, table here. Watch, so we're gonna actually see if it still lives. Oh, does because of the magic, we'll see if it'll rise. Could you rise for us? <sighs> Whoa. Are you getting that? Go forward, not back, come back. Whoa, did you see that? Wow, that was the powers of the jackal, of the hollows. How is this one done? I'll show you. For this magic trick, you will need, what you see here, you will need is a black sock. You will need is a jack o' lantern, a scary, eerie, pig and witch like one. And you'll, then, then you will need here is this black leather that has some br brown tips onto it here. You're going to is. Place the sock onto your hand like this. That way, this will provide it for the levitation that it will give. I'm gonna hide this back, back here like that. That way, can show this first with this hand. Show it like this. It has been a forward. This goes under and goes down like this, like that. Then you can say, if there's any magic in this jackal lantern, can you make it move? Move. By rocking it like this. I can make it move. Say, okay. Since it just moved, could you show us what else you could do? And go very slowly, like this. Like that. Now it can rise up. Black upon black, because you don't even see it. So it rises up like this. And it floats. We can move. We can go forward. And bring it come back again like this. And then put it down like that. And go like this. And then take the, your um, sock off your hand like this. But be very quick. And by magic, making the All Hallows jackal. So it's magical side. Of the Hallows Witchery.
It's a jackal of a good one. And that's what you do and perform that magic trick. From 25, now goes to our 26th one, which I like to call the Haunted Old Witch Lantern Trick. It's like this one. Haunt like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that was ever so epic. I enjoyed that one. So here I have with me is this old witch is a lantern. If the spirit of the witch is in here, please make it move. Did you see that? If the spirit of the witch is still inside this lantern, so please make it move. Yes. But now I want to open this up. Can you push this closed? Can you push it closed? The door. It just did. Again? Can you push the door closed to the lantern? Just did. How is this tr a trick done? I'll show you. All you need is a lantern. An old one. This is one what I did from my, my, my other one. This has hinges that can open and close very easily. We'll do one thing at a time here. Just actually go like this and we'll go like this. You want to hold it straight like this with your, your thumb like that. So I can say to the spirit of the witch. And if, if, it's, if the spirit of the witch is in here, you can make it move that loose like this. And it'll start to move. Stop it by the thumb and make this move again. Like that. Make sure they don't see your, th your thumb. And it'll move. But the second time you ask it, open the door. It doesn't add a tilt, it'll close like that. But I want to say, can you push the door closed of the lantern like that and it closes by itself? So you get two tricks in one with this one. And as I do, the old, the old Hallows Witch Lantern trick. There is no practice required. It's very self working, but a little bit of hand coordina coordination on having this to actually move like this. Point one and point two for this to close by itself. Like this. Just like that. It's a very simple trick that anyone can do. Hmm. Oh. What's it? What's, what's this? I see. What's right next to the, the uh, old, old, old witch here? But a skull with a helmet. Why is that? I don't get that. What do you have that there for? What's, what are your plans? Can you say anything? To be witch it. It said to be witch this. It was marked with a hex. Can I? Sure. Look. Here. Looks like one of the guards was been hexed by this witch. And it's said to be haunted and possessed. I'll leave that with you.
I find it so. I bears. Thank you. You're welcome. I know how she's talking. Because she's been dead for a long time. But I think the hollow's magic is inside. And what we what we are hearing is the magical side from her. I think. But for having her to, 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 to talk to talk uh, talk like that definitely does gotta say something. Yeah, magic is very strong. That's great, great, because we got some more very great tricks of magic coming up right now. Okay, with that said, we'll get on to our next one. To our 27th one we get to. It goes to the Witch's Wand Torch Trick. That's what this will look like. So here with me, I have is this torch. Give us the magic. Whoops. Wave a hand over. Watch. I'm making a flash. Right above. Oh, we get magic from above. How is this trick tr 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 done? I'll show you. All you will need is this, uh, um, non light up LED steak, which is what this is a nice, which we design onto it. And here, I, I uh, uh, put this into like, um, Nice, like a magic wand kind of thing here. Nice design onto it. And, and right there. You're going to turn it on like this. Like that, right? You want to put it into a dark? And like that. Forward. Go like this. Forward. Like this. Like point. Forward. Like that. You can also make a flicker. If you want to. Or you can put your hand over because this is a, a sensor. Right? You can go, go like that. So you can hold like this. Find the magic. And go like this. Bring it above it with your hand. Your hand on your hand. And it'll turn on it like that way too. It's a cool, it's the most straightforward trick that anyone can do and as I do the magic trick to the witch's magic a light torch trick so next one we get to the uh, coffin an empty coffin and by magic we'll get something from it and that goes to the um magic trick number 28 goes to the magic snake coffin magic trick. Here's what this will look like. Does someone say the coffin of snakes? This one is one of my favorites. So here I get is this coffin. And in, in, in here happens to be is a wand. No use for this. You see it, it's completely empty. Right inside here. I have something. First. And that is this nice ammo sash. Like this. 
I'm gonna have to take this out of that because I don't I don't need that yet. In just a few minutes, we'll do something with that. I'm going to is put this a coffin like this. I'm gonna actually wrap this up like this, over it like this. It's when the magic gets the highest with this, like that. I take this hollow snakes to the hollow snakes. Oh, to the magic of the wood tree. Oh, so I'm gonna move to the magic of the witches. Are you ready? Snakes appear in the coffin. One. And snake two. From the coffin. How is this magic trick done? As it is, I'm about to reveal the secrets. So here goes into witch, pagan, as well as to Wicca. There are things that you need to get from this magic trick. That is what, you, what you'll see here. You what we'll need is this wand. Actually, I made up this wand. Looks very uh, dark Celtic-like and full of the witch. Um, for like a, like a, a, a Wicca witch wand. This is what we'll see right here. Then you will we'll need is this um, camo, like down to earth, dark Celtic like scarf. Let's see right here. A little itch from a witch there. There we go. And then you'll, you'll we'll need is this snake. So, no, these are actually. Fake snakes. Do you only need one? And you'll need two. Then you'll need is the coffin. Now only two can fit inside here. I'll show you. Only one fits into here. And one over here like that. So Three does not fit. Only two can within this size small. Depends on how small the coffin you have to perform this magic trick. So what you're going to do in, prep in preparation for this is a few things that you will need to do first. You will need to is turn this face up like that so you don't see this. This is like this. That's what I think. One. For snake two, you'll do the same as you've just seen. Like that. You're going to hide that with this. In the camo scarf like this. Make sure the tails do not fall out of the scarf. You'll put that aside. You do, do, do not need that. Wand goes into the coffin like this. With the the uh, lid closed. First step you want to is get the coffin and open it up to sew the wand in the inside and take it out like that to sew. Make sure you sew the coffin completely empty. Use the wand like this to sew that there's no trap doors of any kind. What you're going to is pick up the scarf here and you're going to is place these snakes in the inside of the coffin like this like that make sure now you just kind of just even it out quick, quick, quickly like this like that and then close the lid make sure the snakes stay in you don't want them accidentally slithering its way out the coffin you're going to take the uh, scarf now 
and they're going to is dress it over like this. Like that, make sure it's all, all on. Then you're gonna go pick up the magic wand, and go over to the snakes of the hollows, and shake like that, and say, oh, God, some movement. And that's just to count with your, your hand, I just giving you a little shake. Bring us the snakes of the hollows. Shakes. And say it again. And then give it a tap like this. Like that. After it's done, take off the scarf like this dramatically. Like that. And then open the coffin. Lid. Revealing the snakes in the inside. Reach in. Like this. And put it onto your hand like this. One snake goes onto your arm. The other gets picked up like this. And by magic, getting snakes from an empty coffin. Give it up for the magic coffin of snakes. Magic trick. Very witchy like. And full of the dark Celtic side as well, too. And that brings us down to our 29th one. That goes to the Haunted Witch's Box. Or the Haunted Witch Box. Magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So here we can see. I got this oh, 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 witch box right here. Okay, you can take a look. At the top, the top, the top of it. Let's check out what's in the inside of it. This is all into the uh, the the wish box. See all this inside, and it includes. It's like a keepsake box, basically. It has like potions and other things that are kept into this box. They say that this is haunted. You see, it has like um, some some kind of thing that's m mounted on the lid of the box. So now that you look, looked into um, I got uh, um, the uh, witch's box. Okay, go go and see if it actually is completely haunted. Did you sit close by itself? Whoa. Okay. We'll see if it, it'll, it'll, do, it'll do that again. That one completely stole me. It just did. How is this message trick done? I'll show you. For the witch box, you will we'll need is just uh, my box again to um, deck it up. Uh, deck it up. In the ways you can see, actually paint, uh, painted the, um, the uh, straps right there. I also gave it a nice top to it right here. Nice witchy owl like thing onto it. And in the inside, I actually put this all into it. And yeah, I put this all together. You can see here, like, um, and stuff that are various things I put into it and grass and you know, feathers and that kind of all that but I never knew that it came with a fullback clip <laughs> and then I also had um this I made onto it too okay so it's for the fullback clip it's actually part of the gimmick this is uh, attached to a dent a Dense line and that's actually attached to um, this here, and that will actually 
like like this. So if you tug this, it'll move. It'll move the lid like that. You'll put this onto the table. And you're going to do is put the gimmick thing here and attach it to you. Away. Onto your belt like that. Like that. At a, sl at a slant. You're going to open it up like this. Just so com completely. You're going to move it a little bit here. And it will actually um, move that away. And that's going to cause it to like uh, close by itself. Like this. Just like that. You can give it a piece, but it's just right there. But you're gonna have to hide it so they don't get to see this. Or you can palm it into your hand if you want to and secretly move that line to close the wits box. And so you perform the um, magic trick two, the magic, the ma the magic witches witch box magic trick. And that's how you perform that trick. But I also have a backing story to go with it, as that you've got this witch box, and that they say that the box is haunted. By a witch, also known as bewitched. Bewitched, bewitched means a haunted witch-like item, or to um, do like a, a witching spell over it, basically, and had haunted an item, and that was the one you just seen. Then down we get to our. 30th one, and that goes to the witch's haunted skull trick. Is what this will look like. So, here in the Hell of Shadows, I have is this skull. Now, because of witches bewitching, bewitching things, they also have uh, done that to other things. Including the skull seems here. Okay, let's see if we can actually is how this skull and see if it actually is indeed haunted. Did you just hear that? That came from the skull and the eyes. Yeah, it was definitely bewitched. I mean, I could definitely tell. The eyes just lit up and I think it said a few words. Yikes. Hopefully it's okay now. Welcome to my home, my little victim. Or I mean, my little friend. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, definitely. Anyways, how is it, this one done? It is but to reveal the secrets. It's what you're going to need to pull this off. This is actually a skull that I've painted. It looks very witchy-like. So too, this is actually hiding this this 
this plas uh, plastic black bag right here is hiding um, that's um, one that lights up. Whereas I'm going to take a little bit out, out here, you can see over here is actually the one that was mounted inside of this right here. That was the mass uh, the, the thing I was, I was showing here is actually into the skull this time. The try me button is just back here. I'm going to is put on as if it was it was actually um, hexed by a, oh, oh, a witch. And you're going to hit this try me button back, back here and go. It, um, the lights will glow those messages in the uh, shadows that we can see that too and you can do this as many times as you want get up for the haunted witch skull trick so we had the haunted witch box and now the haunted witch, witch skull. So some poltergeist ones are in this. Some are slight paranormal, but very witchy-like, and has the, the magic outside of the witchery. Let, 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 let alone the high from the hollows as well too. To our 31st one we get to, and that goes to the candle, the candle, bone, and skull magic trick. That's what this will look like. So here goes into candles, a skull, and a one bone for this one. So here with me, I have is this bone. I got a skull, I got all the candles here, all lit up right here. With all these magic, what you'll see just from over here with this. And then the two is just gonna move this over the skull like this. Watch. To the magic of the, the house witches. Okay. I was supposed to paste this next to the candles. Watch to the hallows of the witches make the skull move. Did you see that again? Closer to take the candles, bone for the wand. Watch. To the hollows and all the witches make the skull move again. Skull, skull, bone, and candles. How is this master trick done? I'll show you. For this master trick, you will need the following the Halloween. Bone for a wand. To enchant. Be a very magic cow. And um, you will need is an LED candle. Black. You will need this is, is a set. That's like small medium. This is the smaller one. And this is the uh, this is the larger one. And they're like in pillar candle shape, basically. We are now on top of a box or onto a table. Here I'm using is the witch's Honda box for the mount for this. And the only need is a skull. Now I'll show you. Here. So the skull I've actually painted as well. This here 
has black thread that's attached onto the jaw part of the skull right here on the side bone of the jaw right here. Like that. The truss is right here. And it too has a full back clip. Right here. And that's nice and witchy purple. What you're going to is put this on to you. This is the um the gimmick for this. I'll put it over here so you can easily see it. What you're going to do is hold the skull. And the bone. You can wave it all over and give it uh, the bone a tap on the skull. Like that. Now you're going to do is turn it like this. Where the candles are. That way it'll go like this. Why don't you actually turn though? Like this. Like that. Well, I want to get this to actually do the, that too. Make sure you provide a distance. Like this. So the, the bone at, at, at the ready for the magic wand. After doing that, you say to the magic of the witches or something like that. Go like this. Or I go like this. Like that. An instant wave and do that instead if you want to. Be creative. And then like that. That's all there is to it. All you need is the bone, the skull, the gimmick thing that I've shown you, and the candles to go with it. Now that I have is a wand right here and a, 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 a spell book right there. Here now we've reached to our last trick on this one. From the spell book to the spell wand to the skull you see over there with the candles. What is that too? Yes, to our last one ever. 30 second magic trick. What is that, too? I'm about to go to you right now. And that goes to the magic pe pagan. Witch Horn Skull Spell Magic Trick. You see that? That's right over here. Right on the left side of me. Just right here. Three candles. One, two, three, and a skull. So you can see these three candles have a biomagic that I give each or all the can can candles with a light by the magic wand that I hold for this one. The magic wand, watch. A luminous, um, a candle. I get them a light. So what we're going to is see what this skull can do. Skull, you go soon. Oh, 
here over here. Gem Adam Pascal. Are you getting that? All that from the skull. I mean, I don't really care. I'm you. there. Sp now for the yes, spell book. Get the spell book bucket involved. Degra sam eleram kamusum alam al skua. Man, they are a flicker on the skull. How was this one done? As is about to reveal the secrets. Is it going to need to get for this magic trick? You will need is a magic wand. Then you need is a spell book. Actually, the, the design on the sp sp spell book. Here you can read it first or get right into it and then read it as the final part. Next thing we'll, we'll need is what you'll see over here. And that is um, this horn skull. Right here. The horn skull. And three black pillar candles. One, two, three. You can also design on some stars. One, two, three. Or like pentagrams, or whatever. And this skull here is a, is a fake horn skull. It all sit in the middle. It almost looks like a slight altar, but, but more more different. The trick is very simple. It's all in going at the candles. I'll show you. Like this. Making them flicker. That's all that it is. You can use a bunch of wand, read a spell, and then get right onto it, or get right onto it and then with the spell and just do, do, do the final one. Like you can say any, any incantations that that you want. Like, mm, I don't know, I scott. Like that. And then after that that's done, Get your spell book. And you're going to is read a little bit. I I love the yes spell book. Like this. Open it up. And say 
anything you want to that comes to your mind that it doesn't, doesn't have to make any sense whatsoever. Like you can go, I met him, I scot him, I scot him, I scot him, we did a vic, I will some funny him, Mila. I mean, you're pointing at like this, and turning your head, and go very forcefully. Like this. So you, you say that, and you go. Like that. You want to be very forceful, though. You want to be, like, right in the center. I made them all dance and flicker around what you'll see this way here. There goes to um, incantation, spell binding, um, slight, slight, um, I want to say paranormal, but more like um, on the uh, more of, of the spirit side a bit as well too. And it's um very pagan like and Wiccan as well too. And that is our last and final trick. I'll see you back for our fourth one. This is our final one. This is our third, because then we can tell you the fourth one. But then after we get this done, for the, uh, the third one, we'll get to our second um, one. That way, my plan is to make a playlist in order, the full order of this, this as well too, and making it like a playlist for the 12th installment. Just wanted to let you know that within this video. So again, I'll see you back for our, um, our fourth one. I hope you enjoyed um, watching our third video on our twelfth installment. Now, I must be off. And I'll see you back for video four. If you enjoyed watching one and two as well too. Anyways, I will see you soon. Must have a must love and blessings. Namaste.